Welcome to our video tutorial on the centroid and constructing the centroid. If we want to construct the centroid, the first thing we do is we take our compass and we want to find the perpendicular bisectors of the three sides. So we'll start with the bottom side. Point of the compass goes at one of the vertices. Open more than halfway and I'm going to make that arc like so. Keeping the compass the same size, I'm going to move the point of the compass to this other point and I'm going to spin that arc around. We're doing the perpendicular bisector. Now, what we ordinarily would do is we would take our ruler and we would connect and draw in the line connecting those two points as our perpendicular bisector. But we really don't want that line, we want the median. The median goes from that midpoint to the opposite vertex. So when we draw our median, the median goes from that midpoint to the opposite vertex. Now we're going to com complete that process for the other two sides. So we take our compass. Point of the compass goes at one of those endpoints. I'm doing the left-hand side right now. And I just want to open more than halfway. I'm going to make the one arc. There it is. I move the point of the compass to our other endpoint and I'm going to make that second arc. I have to keep the compass the same size. Now sometimes it might get a little tricky to keep track of where you're going. Here's the one intersection point. Here's the other intersection point. If you're confused on why those are the two points, you can go back and hit pause and rewind this video. We draw in enough of the perpendicular bisector to determine where the midpoint is. And then we connect that midpoint with the opposite vertex. We've got one more line segment to do. Now if you're ever confused on this, just keep track of what you've done. We've used this side over here that I just squiggled. We've used this side on the bottom that I've just squiggled. We still have to use the right hand side. So we'll take our compass, point of the compass at one of the endpoints, open it more than halfway, and yes the picture is getting crowded so we'll have to stay organized mentally. I'm going to make the one arc. I'm going to move the point of the compass to the other end point. Keeping the compass the same size, I'm going to make the second arc. <laughs> Again, we're going to find the two points where those arcs intersect. Here's one of them right here. As I continue along, there's the other one. But I really care about finding and identifying that midpoint. Here's the midpoint. We need to draw the median, which means take that midpoint and connect it to the opposite vertex. Once we're done, look at this. Very, very accurate, very, very precise. That should regularly happen. This point is the centroid. And as we saw in class, if you were to cut out the triangle, it balances at the centroid. So the main property of the centroid we looked at today is that the centroid is the center of mass or the center of gravity of our triangle. This was a recap on how to construct the centroid. Hopefully it goes well.